Hello, this is Codes of Harmony. Ah, it stopped raining and the sun is out. It's been out most of the day. And I just did three of the most powerful personal tarot readings that I've ever done in my life. <clears throat> the three divine women, divine powerful women who are so inspiring. So I just thought I would check on in, um, see if there's any messages that want to come through. I'm just so inspired by the divine feminines that I have just met. Um, Just amazed, just amazed at what women have been asked to hold throughout time, throughout the conscious collective's memory and for individual individuals, individual divine feminine energy, um, those living as women in the vessel in the energy of women and the divine feminine within everyone and the uh, the attack the <clears throat> the effects on the throat chakra there's this little bit of sunshine coming through that I'll show you this is codes of harmony Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. If this is your first time, please, you are welcome to click subscribe. Thank you for everyone who engages in the channel in any kind of way. And, um, yeah, and if you like, you know, if by liking you are helping these messages and this work get out to more people. I am overwhelmed with the power and strength of the women that I just read for. As the sun has come up, as the sun, as the sun has risen through days and days of rain, And of course, it's a reminder to myself that everything that I have survived, that every <clears throat> thing the throat chakra, everything that I've survived as a divine feminine, as a woman, all the ways that the water has been withheld and all of the ways that the dam wall is breaking this is a channeled space so if i am channeling these messages it is not just for me it is for you to hear and if you're hearing these messages it's for a reason this is a collective message channeled collective message um this me clear and divine guidance who most beneficial for everyone involved. So they're talking about a dawning. They're talking about a dawning. <clears throat> a horizon, a new day coming, a new day for matriarchal energy, a new day for the divine feminine within everyone, whether you are a woman or not. This is so beautiful. Let me show you. So the dawning, the daylight breaking through and the, I've channeled this message before around it always being darkest before the dawn. Um, yeah, so these are some collective messages 
that I'm just channeling and bringing through after three of the most powerful readings I've ever done in my life in this incarnation. These clouds are so beautiful. For some of you, you'll be definitely seeing messages in the clouds. Your ancestors will be speaking to you through clouds. All the water that has run, all of the water, the abundance of emotions, the abundance of inner knowing, inner knowledge, divine feminine power is overflowing. The damn walls have broken is what I am hearing. This is something that is happening collectively, but again, the collective is a mirror of what is happening within. The divine feminine rage, the divine feminine knowing, the divine feminine desire will be upheld, will be balanced, and is. The new dawning, the new dawning is here, the new dawning is coming. New horizons will be opening up for you at this time. New horizons, things that you've never seen before, walls and doors inside your, your internal psychological spiritual home that were never there before are opening for you. I've been getting a lot of channel messages around free will and the, the, the fickle nature of free will, the divine, sacred relationship between higher knowing, higher consciousness, memories of past lives, knowingness of who you are, who you came here to be, in who you incarnated to be, the connection, the fickle thread that runs between that and free will, the choice to become that which you came here to be, the choice to deny who you are on a soul base, on a soul level. If you're watching this, you are probably a healer of some sort or a shaman of, of some sort, a medicine person of some sort. You are probably an energy worker of some sort. And maybe you didn't realize that, maybe you didn't know that. I also know there are a lot of channelers and other tarot readers that drop on in here to this space whether or not that is um, spoken of or acknowledged is irrelevant and I'm proud to inspire that is something that divine feminines um, must do is find pride in their ability to inspire to inspire each other to, d to inspire the divine masculines um, within without Sorry, my crown chakra is like brrr, so just one second <laughs> okay let me just tame my lion locks for a minute as I sit on this <gasps> this flood tree log that grew for many years in the forest and shifted and changed with the floods. I'm also near a baby waterfall. The dam walls are breaking is what I am hearing. And I want you to take a moment to feel into the, the visceral uh, 3D body reaction you have when I say that, when you hear those words, the damn walls are breaking. Water is intuition, water is knowingness, but water is also mother. A lot of secrets will be surfacing, a lot of unknown truths. And this, this, the, the, the wings 
of justice will be riding upon the new horizon is what I'm hearing. The wings of justice for the divine feminine within you, for your mother, for your mother's mother, for your grandmothers, for your sisters, for your aunties, for the divine feminine within you who has not been honored, who has not been protected. Water also nurtures water. You have a tiny seed and you water it and it becomes something more than you could ever imagine. Every time a plant grows, every time a flower blossoms, <clears throat> this is a miracle. A miracle that is made of the water, of the sunlight. the dark of the light of the shadows of the shadow work that we are doing together collectively and individually and all of the that knowingness that sits within holds keys to abundance to self-fulfillment, to self-expression. A lot of you need to be journaling. A lot of you need to be um, expressing and channeling and getting out that which sits within. Uh, yeah, so that's really major for a lot of you. You need to be doing something expressive. <clears throat> My solar plexus just started tumbling. Hi, Wednesday. Come here, my baby girl. <laughs> I recently lost my um, my familiar my my first baby my first fur baby and that has been devastating and I realise now how many months I sense that coming and how many um, days and weeks I grieve <clears throat> on her behalf. So I want to send love out to my baby in the stars, to my little puppy, who was always a puppy to me no matter how old she got. So yeah, Wednesday and I are, um, you know, also she was 18, I had her for that full 18 years, so I'm also so blessed. Um, we need to be counting our lucky stars, because the more you are appreciative of all of that you have experienced, the good, the bad, the painful, the dark, the light, the more that you can appreciate that and see it as an abundance of knowledge and understanding and wealth then the more knowledge and understanding and wealth and abundance will flow into your life, just like the river. <clears throat> and I was channeling messages around the kindness of water. And I, I now want to speak about the forgiving nature of water, the forgivingness. <laughs> And the wildness, the wildness of nature, the, the, the wildness of woman, of the divine feminine, because the divine feminine knowingness, the, the intuition, the moon card energy, the, the um, ancient wisdom that is held there is... is forgiveness and is forgiving and graceful 
and fluid and flexible, all the things you need to be as you ascend, as you heal. Sorry, so one of the readings I was doing, like this person had like an incredibly activated crown chakra and I had my hair up and then had to like, um, anyways. The wildness of woman. The wildness of that knowing is forgiving because um, a mother must feed the cubs, so must kill. Because a snake will bite because it has no other defense. And this wildness, this nature is, is reflective in childbirth, in when you have your moon cycle, in when you experience all of everything that a woman experiences and the divine feminine within experiences from birth, from childhood. To hold love and compassion and forgiveness is an ancient skill, is an ancient knowledge. It's so beautiful, but it's, it's, it is duality as well, you know, um, and I'm not talking about excusing evil, I'm not talking about ignoring that which is wrong, because we must always speak for that which is, is, stand up against that which is wrong, I'm talking about <clears throat> accepting and understanding the duality within you. The wild woman, the wild man, the wild being, the wild light in you, the nature within you, everything that you are. And I always say that, I say thank you for all that you are because I don't want to just thank people for the bits that are palatable, the bits that are acceptable, the bits that are... Um... Just one minute. <laughs> I mean, this is also a message, of course, because um, the more I channel, the more activated my crown chakra is, it, it makes my hair static, and then, like, there's all these, like, layers of racial, cultural um, ways that I have been treated around my body and my vessel that carries my spirit, and the cultural identities and markers, the, um, all that I am. So yeah, this is a very broad, like, like uh, seemingly abstract message, but it has something to do with um, with duality and loving the duality within you, um, finding love, compassion, and forgiveness for the duality within you, which is so fucking amazing. You know, just the same as it is amazing that when you put a seed in the ground, you don't know if it'll grow. That that a mother bird has a certain amount of eggs that, and, and only so many of the birds will fly in the sky. And those beings, that energy, that that the life that goes back into the into the spiritual pool, that goes back into the primordial womb. This has been coming up a lot. And of course connected to my recent loss. <clears throat> maybe some of you have recently lost a pet or a loved one um, and yeah we as we move through grief, through grief um, we must mother ourselves and father ourselves we must nurture ourselves oh baby And we must embrace the wildness within. Please. May this be your invitation to do so. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bobby. Is that it? Is that the end? Is that the end of the message? Is that? Oh.
Okay, all right. <clears throat> and if you have lost somebody recently, embrace the duality of that experience. Embrace the sadness, the grief, the anger, the 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 even fear, the um the the longing, the missing of the loved one, and um and the joy, even the freedom you may find in that loss. The joy of celebrating someone's life, of honoring them, of giving them a good send off. And know that there is a new dawn coming. And I know more messages are going to come through with this. I know the horizon will be channeled in lots of the upcoming messages. I don't know. Yeah, I, like, I'm sure I'll pull cards soon enough. But for now, I'm just going to be channeling from the garden. Because that's what feels right. That's what my wild woman inside says. And I'll just um, show you these golden clouds before I close down this collective channeled message from Codes of Harmony. Thank you for everything that you are. Everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, the sweet, the sour, the salty. Okay, gold. A lot of you may have golden auras as I have been told I do. <clears throat> Golden children, golden wings, golden expansion of the crown chakra. Ooh, a lot of you will be getting um, activations of the crown chakra at this time um, that I'm, I'm, I'm hearing has been helped by the water, by the intuition that you have recently embraced. Gold, um, surround yourself with gold. Do solar plexus work. Um, I don't mean gold, like gold I mean like the color gold or yellow dance when you want to dance sing when you want to sing scream when you want to scream and embrace the duality of you of everything that you are and everything that you have survived because this is the um, they're saying that that's either wheel of the chariot that we need to move forward um, that we can't move forward just in positivity and love and light and this like denial of the true horror and grief and loss <clears throat> and terror of the, the mistakes of the collective which of course weren't mistakes um, but teachings for us to be here in this moment in this golden moment with a golden dawning coming By embracing and loving the duality within you, you will find your true worth. You will find the true gold, the true treasure. Um, there's some light language coming through. Golden wings are expanding. Upheld by your ancient wisdom. To access that, you must travel through the portal of divine feminine love. Oiro 
through the portal from which we came. And all the pain and suffering of that journey. Allows us to breathe in new life. Um, <clears throat> I'm seeing a golden dragon. Um, there's a lots of a dragon energy available to us as it is the year of the dragon, the year of action. Oi. And the grace of the truth, the truth within the golden light. <clears throat> These are channeled messages. If you don't know what channeling is, please um, press pause and go research and come back. You know, <clears throat> there once was a time when men, human, the, our, our collective, our species, walked alongside of gods and demons. Some of us even remember that time well. This is Codes of Harmony. Thank you for everything you are. Thank you for being here. Lots of love. And yeah, as you engage in this channel, it's good for your karma, good for the channel, and helps bounce out these messages so that we can all rise together. Oh, yeah, now I'm seeing a phoenix. Lots of phoenix energy too. Okay, lots of love from Codes of Harmony.